Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where today we're gonna talk about the modeling mode in Unreal Engine 5 and uh, the modeling mode is huge so there's a lot of different tools uh, that you can use to model things um, but today in this video we are gonna focus on the poly edit mode which is um, basically like the edit modes in Blender um, so yeah if you uh, want to model something like you would do in Blender, this is the perfect mode for you. And um, in order to show you how you can use this uh, mode to model things, uh, we are gonna try to model a basic car shape in this video. So to start off, we need a box that we can use as a base for our car model. And we can add a box by just clicking on the box at shape and um, just dragging it in here and uh, clicking on complete um, and now you can go to poly edit and uh, you will see that you have your faces your edges and this is a little bit tricky but you also have your vertices so your points your edges uh, edge points um, yeah so um, right now we can't really do that much with this cube because uh, it's not subdivided it doesn't have a lot of detail and um, do not use the subdivide function uh, in unreal engine because this will turn your cube more or less into a sphere the the more steps you take it will turn into a sphere and we don't want that we want to preserve the shape and um, to do that we are gonna use edge loops and uh, by default this will um, be one of these two, I think proportion offset and uh, if you uh, move your cursor along one of the edges you will see a preview of your edge loop um, but we want the edge loop to be in the middle because we want to subdivide it into even pieces so we are gonna um, use the even mode for position and now when you click anywhere on the uh, edge you will see it will be in the middle and that's uh, just what we want so we're just gonna click a few times on the different edges so we have a basic subdivision of course you can do as many steps as you want to uh, but I'm just gonna leave it at that uh, because that's enough for us to model a car so click accept um, and uh, go back into poly edit and uh, now if you select these two faces you can drag them out um, and you see these faces kind of bend with the movement and uh, in a lot of cases that's exactly what you want but uh, if you don't want that you are gonna use the extrude function this is just like blender you can just take this extrude it and um, it will be independent more or less from the rest of the shape so you don't deform the windows for example and uh, now we can of course take this and uh, maybe if I make my grid 5 we can move this down a little bit to make it more uh, aerodynamic move this like this uh, and yeah now we're gonna do the same process uh, in the back so we're also gonna drag this out a little bit and um, Yeah, and um, then go to extrude and do it like that. And uh, yeah, actually, let's drag this a little bit back in here. All right. So um, now you can, of course, add more detail to the shape as much as you want. For example, I'm, I think I'm gonna take these lines and uh, if you now click on the red things here the brackets I, I think um, I'd call them brackets and um, these are for scaling so um, if you scale it in this direction you will see that um, these uh, two edges will be transformed symmetrically um, so we're just gonna make them a little a little bit inward not too much but a little bit and um, now actually I think we're gonna drag the ceiling of the car a little bit down maybe 
maybe move this a little bit as well yeah I think I think that's a that's a nice shape um, so now that you have uh, your basic shape ready um, we're gonna add the windows um, and in blender you would use uh, the bevel mode if I remember correctly but don't do that in Unreal Engine because this will transform your mesh and um, you only want to um, make new faces inside your existing faces. So you're gonna use the inset mode instead. And uh, as you can see, uh, this will create kind of a frame, just like that. And um, now you have like a basic uh, windshield. Now you can... Um, Again, use extrude to make this go into the car uh, a little bit, like that. And uh, yeah, it looks good, if you ask me. Uh, so now you do the same for the sides. Um, be careful if you select these at the same time. Um, this will treat basically those two faces as one just like they did with the windshield so the frame is going to be around but if you want to have your um, side window separated you should also do the inset function separated so you select for example these two uh, go to inset and uh, try to match it a little bit with the windshield of course and do it like that all right now do the same for the back side windows again inset try to match as best as possible like that and um, yeah what you can now do is select all these four windows and um, hit extrude but uh, you want to keep them more or less like where they are so you don't want to extrude them too much maybe like that I'm gonna make my grid a little bit different so yeah somewhat like that and um, now you're gonna do the same thing that we did with the edges we're gonna use the scale function and use this to um, make them go a little bit inside the car so this way um, you have a window shape and uh, now we're gonna do the same thing for the rear window um, so again inset like that select it extrude oops kinda like that alright so uh, our basic shape is uh, done of course, you could add more detail, but uh, this is just a tutorial, so that's enough detail for me. Um, but the car still needs wheels. And uh, to do that, we are gonna create a new cylinder. And I already have uh, the approximate values right here, but I think we're gonna make the wheels a little bit bigger. So we're gonna do maybe 30. Actually, let's do 25. Yeah, I think I think that's a that's a good wheel size. <coughs> so we're gonna click approximately where we want our wheels to be. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back to 10. So we click uh, where uh, we want our wheels. For example, there. Okay. Um, so now. Um, you go into poly edit uh, and you go to select this face in the outside and you're gonna use inset like this in order to get a little bit uh, rounder shape drag this out a little bit uh, maybe that uh, do inset another time like this now another time 
and for the innermost face we're gonna drag it inwards so we have a little bit of a wheel shape right here so uh, now click on accept to save your edits and you can now drag this like this actually let's go back to poly edit and make this a little bit more like this uh, so this way it won't collide with the with the rest of the car and um, now that we have one wheel uh, all we have to do is uh, we have to copy it so control Z control C control V and uh, drag it where you want your second wheel kind of like that now um, select both of the these wheels uh, make sure your rotation grid is to set to 90 uh, so this way you can just oops oh yeah um, you should copy it first so make sure your rotational grid is set to 90 uh, do another time control C control V and now uh, you can just rotate it like that um, I recommend you align it here so this is the easiest way yeah so this is aligned and now you just have to drag this onto the other side so as you can see this extrudes two of these uh, units away from the car so we go on the other side and uh, this extrudes four units so we're just gonna drag this in like that and now we have uh, everything symmetrical Okay, so the last detail that we're gonna add, um, this is more or less optional, um, but we're gonna add some headlights. And um, so we're gonna make everything 20. And uh, now we're gonna make the width uh, 35. Oops, no, that's the, that's the wrong 20, then we make this 35 maybe is this the right one yeah um, so kind of like you can kind of like use this these values um, maybe for the height make 10 yes and with uh, make 15 actually and this you can do at 30 so uh, just click right here click on complete and now you can go to poly edit and simply use the inset once again and uh, extrude inwards oops yeah put your grid to one so you have more to work with and uh, yeah I think that's 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 pretty good um, click on accept now you can drag this in a little bit you can copy control C control V drag it to the other side make sure it's more or less symmetrical uh, I'm just gonna do it like approximately for now uh, I think this this looks this looks quite good um, now take these two again and just like with the wheels control C control V rotate by 90 degrees align them yes just like that and now simply drag them to the back so yeah, we just added, so now we have not only the uh, headlights, but also the tail lights. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this already looks pretty good. This looks like a car, like you could totally use this in a low poly game. And um, actually I'm gonna probably do a little bit more tweaking here so I want this uh, 
to go up a little bit on uh, both sides. So I'm selecting all these edges, dragging it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, the last step you can take is uh, you can turn all these different uh, parts of your car into one mesh. Um, however, I would uh, recommend keeping the wheels separate because um, if you want to rig the car later on or if you want to make it drivable, you're gonna have you're gonna need the wheels as separate meshes um, for it to work correctly. So, um, but with the headlights and the taillights and the main shape, uh, we can go to actor, merge actor, and merge, and we're gonna save it. Yeah, and now if we drag this in here, you can see we've got a nice car. But um, all right, uh, so now you have everything in one shape. Um, however, uh, I would recommend doing all the necessary edits on your main shape because once you have it merged, uh, it will be a little bit difficult to edit things um, but yeah all right so that was it for this video I hope you learned something I hope uh, I could uh, maybe improve your Unreal Engine modeling skills a little bit uh, and uh, if you learned something uh, or if you found this video helpful I would really appreciate uh, a like on this video and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope I see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.